Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams with the Good News Bible Church. I firmly believe that the message of salvation should be given in clarity. We're saved by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ because he has paid for all of our sins, past, present, and future. Our only requirement is to believe he has done all that is necessary for us to be saved. If we add works to the gospel, we're not really believing in Christ and are actually saying that our Savior didn't do enough. Every Sunday morning, I get up early and listen to a certain TV show that is supposed to give the gospel message as well as telling of current happenings that are related to Bible prophecy. I find no problem with their prophecy analysis, but I certainly cannot recommend their idea of the gospel message. In the last few months, they've had guest speakers because the man who originated the program has been laid up. I'd hope that the guest speakers would give a clear message of salvation by grace through faith, because the founder never did. He and the guest speakers as well say to be saved, one must ask Jesus to come into our hearts. One even said to ask Jesus to step into our heart, and that is the way he said to be saved. This is nothing short of a very misleading message. When the word heart is used in the Bible, it means the core of our intellect. Many will say, oh, well, that's what they mean. But that doesn't mean the message is okay. I, for many years, attended various churches which gave this confusing message. And also they would say, come forward and meet Jesus. I was nearly 30 years of age when I heard the clear gospel, which is faith in the finished work of Christ, without any works of our own. Many Bible teachers who say that salvation is by faith in Christ alone say that works always follow salvation. However, this is not true in every case. The amount of works we do depend on our growth, and we grow in grace and knowledge by prayerfully reading our Bibles and attending a grace-teaching church, which sadly some believers neglect to do. I would also like to clarify another doctrine that is being taught in some churches, and that's the belief that Jesus Christ only died for a pre-chosen select people. By reading God's Word, we can plainly see that Jesus Christ died for the sins of all mankind. In Hebrews 2.9, it's written, But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. And also in 1 John 2.2, 2, it's written, Jesus is a propitiation for our sin, not for ours only, but also for the sins of the entire world. If God had pre-chosen some for heaven and some for hell, there would be no need of evangelism. But we who are believers are told to share the gospel message to everyone. Remember, God is a God of love. To exclude anyone from the opportunity to be saved would not be an act of love. Most earthly fathers would not exclude their sons and daughters from their love. How much more is the love of God? I don't talk about false teachings to offend people. I only want the salvation message to be biblically clear so that people can hear the truth and realize salvation is simply by believing that by his death, burial, and resurrection, Jesus Christ has paid for all of our sin. If man's works are added to faith in Christ's work, they take away grace. And Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, not of ourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 11:6 says if we be of, if it be of grace it cannot be of works. Grace and works simply cannot exist together. Grace speaks of salvation as being a gift. Works say that salvation is something that has to be earned. But there is nothing man could do to make himself good enough to be accepted of God. When we trust in the meritorious work of Christ alone we then are accepted of God. Ephesians 1:6 says the to the praise and glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Ephesians 1.13 says that after we trust Christ alone, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. By realizing that salvation is a gift and that we're sealed into God's family forever, we understand that Jesus Christ is a great God of love. In John 6.28, Jesus was asked, What shall we do, that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, the work of God is that you believe on him whom he has sent. He never told them to be baptized or do works of any kind. Simply trust in him alone as their Savior. This has been Pastor Tom Adams. 
I'd like to invite you to our services Sunday at 9 a.m. and Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Until next time, may the grace and love of God become more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now, and thank you for listening.